hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel so today we bring to you just on jumoke george there's usually a saying that be nice to people you don't know what people are going through as much as you are going through your own shit make sure you are nice with words to people as people have been through a lot and this is the same with jumoke george when she shared the story of her life how she was disowned by her father how her mother rejected her from coming back to her because she decided to follow her father against her mother's will and she was fighting a good fate for her father but yet she was disowned completely by her father she stayed with her grandmother and from there she started staying from one house to the other and down to her marital life her first husband how her first husband treated her badly and she lost her son down to her second husband and how her second marriage also went south but in all she came out a victor she is indeed a golden fish like she called herself and indeed she has no hiding place as she was able to overcome the unfairness of life and came out a victor in an interview with tribune online she shared this wonderful amazing story of herself saying and i quote I'm a product of a broken marriage. My father disowned me because I was fighting his battle for him and he couldn't understand how. As young as I was then, my stepmother used to send me to different herbalists to get love potion for her. It continued till I got to class too. She would put it in my father's food. I was the one who would cook the same food that had been laced with the love potion. So one day I said I was not going to run such errands for her again. And that was how my problem started. We were brought up in a strict military home. So I have been a very brave person. I think I got that from my father actually. One day I walked up to my stepmother with a terrifying feeling and told her that I was getting scared of what she had been doing to my father. She asked me what did I think she was doing. I said she should stop sending me to Harbalis to get all manners of love potions. She got angry that I threatened to report me to my father for daring to speak up to her. When my father came back, she told him a different story entirely. She told my father I was rude to her and that I don't listen to her instructions again she cooked up a blatant lie that i could not even understand immediately i went on my knees i started begging her to stop lying against me i tried to explain myself but my father got mad and asked me to get out of the house i held on to his knees pleading for mercy suddenly he shoved me away and went into his room to get his gun he retired as a medical doctor in the military it was a lieutenant colonel in the nigerian army before he retired then we lived right behind joyce b in ibado my father pursued me with his gun from our house to that popular filling station at ring road barefooted he ran after me and went back when i got to the main road i ran to my paternal mother's house to hide my father came there and dragged his mom and me on the floor it was at that point that i realized that he had truly disowned me my mother had divorced my father at that time so i went to her when there was no place to go but i was shocked when my mom said she would not take me to her house i asked her why and she said i choose to stay with my father against her wish at the age of six when she wanted to leave my father's house my mother insisted that she would not have me back in her house that was how i started squatting from one house to another because i didn't want to become a dropout afterwards i went to the house of my classmate who was the daughter of the popular baba Kondiede. after some time uncle aqua enrolled me with laulu uguni theater group i was attending riazo for a couple of months Though the founder of the group was not always available, I kept going. So one day, I decided to pay my mom a visit. On my way to her house after the rehearsal, a car parked beside me, and the man who drove the car asked me where I was going. He said he had known me since my first stage play on NTA some years before then. He said he would like to meet my parents, so I took him to my mom. When we got to my mom, he told her that he would like to mentor me in acting. That same man is Comrade Victor. I shall I was under his tutelage for 11 years. This was Madame Jumoke George explaining her whole deal of how she was disowned at the age of eight and how she had to start living and fending on her own she spoke further on how she was able to conquer this she said 
I always tell people that I am a golden fish that has no hidden place and I like telling my story to inspire young ladies who might be going through a similar problem. When I left secondary school, I gained admission into a Shogo Technical College to study business administration. But still, I wanted the world to learn more from me because I had never seen myself as someone who ever had parents. Let me be sincere with you. My parents never existed in my life. If I could go through what I faced in life at that tender age and nobody was there to help me but God, then I don't think I would be wrong to say I never had parents. My grandmother actually tried for me because she took me to my mother and told her that she was not happy about how I had been sleeping from one house to another. In fact, she gave me a room in her house to stay for years. I stayed in that house until I met the father of my two children. Speaking further on our marriage and how she met the father of her children, she said, it was another difficult moment in my life. This man promised he would sponsor me to school if I married him. At that time, I had no choice because I wanted to go to school and there was no one to help. So I gave in to his request. He was a Muslim while I was coming from a Christian background. The man would come to our Riyaz house to beat me and drive me away from the venue. I went through hell while I was with him and never fulfilled his promise. In the midst of the trouble, I had my first and second child for him. The trouble was so much I had to move out of his house and left the kids with him. I couldn't just cope with the beating and humiliation I experienced virtually every day. When she was asked as to why she left her children, she said, Yes, where would I go with two children? I didn't have any sense of belonging. It was really hard. I felt like my life was coming to an end. I didn't even know where to sleep the next day. I don't know what happened, but the second child died. I was told he hit his chest on the ground and he never recovered from it. After three years, I met the second man who I had another child for. I would say he was another woman's husband because when we met, I didn't know he was married. One thing led to the other and I got pregnant. I'm happy that the child is doing fine today. She is my pride. This was Madame Joquet explaining and sharing her experience. And of course, she didn't think life was not fair to her. She believes life is beautiful. When she was asked that after all she has been through, what does she think about life? She said life is beautiful. We are the architects of our lives. It depends on how things work out with our lives. As far as I know, I believe life is beautiful. I think the lesson I learned from everything I went through is that parents should love their children. I love my children to a fault. They are my best friends. I never wish that they go through what I went through. Madam Jacquette George is indeed a strong woman and a golden fish that has no hiding place truly. She's just like a raw gold which went through the refiner's fire and she came out beautifully. So guys, irrespective of whatever it is we are going through, we know that we will always overcome. Well guys, there you have it. Do not forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.